This thing right here, see this guy swimming yeah. around that Karen loves? That's a <laughs> mud puppy. I'm not sure if they're good eating or not. But uh, they live in the Great Lakes. They're like salamanders, but a lot slimier, as you saw, a little bit creepier. I think they're a little creepy, right? <laughs> well, today on Belle Isle, people from zoos as a way, as far away, I should say, as Ecuador, were there to do some mud puppy research. Tim Pamplin got to tag along. He's right behind you. Ooh. As the wind howls up the Detroit River, a group of scientists gather on the banks of Belle Isle, including a very bundled up Maria Teresa. She's from Ecuador, one of a handful of foreign amphibian experts on the hunt for the mud poppy, an unusual looking character native to the Great Lakes. You catch one of these on your fishing line, you'll be a little startled. A lot of people mistake it for a fish. But upon closer inspection with its feet, it's clearly not a fish. It is a salamander. So a uh, salamander is a type of amphibian. Um, they look very much like lizards, but they've got the slimy skin of a frog. This is the seventh year for this study. Ruth tells me the population is healthy, which is good. It means our drinking water is too. They catch for salamander and then scan the body for an ID chip. This one doesn't have one. It's going to get one right now in its tail. It's then released back into the chilly Detroit River to go about its day. None the worse for wear. I asked Ruth, why is this study so important? Amphibians are kind of a marker for how the environment is doing. And in turn, it can tell us, you know, how healthy the water is for human supply. In the very frigid Detroit River today, Tim Pamplin, local four. Look at Tim getting in there for that camera shot. I know. A Wouldn't you rather be out there? A little and hang out with some of those mud yeah. puppies? I think he did a good job. <laughs> Much more coming up.